Professor Pickle's been kidnapped. Holy shit. We're fucked. Didn't Tarantino say he, like, didn't have a foot fetish? Yeah, he did. Um, I mean, Sigmund Freud also said that he sucks. I know what Sigmund Freud said. I mean, Sigmund Freud also said that he doesn't have an oral fixation fetish, even though he describes cigarettes as that. That was disgusting. I hate Sigmund Freud so fucking much. I mean, Everything I read about him is hilarious. Like, <laughs> Chip just died. Chip I mean, just passed he, like, away. Discredited as of late, though. What? And like the psycholo- Isn't he like discredited in the psychological community well, or whatever? The, the yeah, I mean, about- people still teach about like his stuff because of like. Oh, I had a he teacher. Had, like, the foundations for like a lot I, I of his t- stuff was like the foundation to say like, hey, all of this stuff is probably wrong, and we should do better. <laughs> like. He is yeah. definitely, like, the father of, you know, like, psychology, as people say it, but, like, he was a shitty father, and we were like, hold on, we're better, here, actually. we better here, parents to psychology. Here, here's the thing with um, Sigmund Freud. I had a class, like, it was Eastern philosophy. Amazing professor. I went into that class, like, it was a class that I had to take. It was one of, like, the, the I don't know why I had to take it, but I had to take it. There were other philosophy classes, but they had to be, like, a philosophy class. They stuck me in Eastern. And day one, he just comes out and says, okay, this is not the easy version of the class. So a lot of you probably don't want to be, like, a, prob- a lot of you probably want to switch out. But he was so interesting in the first class that I stayed. And then I just enjoyed his class. Like, it was, j- it, he said, like, he, he went into it with the mindset, like, saying, you're not going to get a job out of a class like this. This is just for you um, if you actually are willing to listen and pay attention. Great, great professor. Genuinely genuinely enjoyed him but he actually talked about Sigmund Freud and his way of his way of talking about the guy was that he is a very important figure in philosophy he is a very important like there's there is some some there are things that, a lot of important things that he has contributed to but he says but he is a bastard oh yeah no absolutely that's yeah. that's what it is like he and he reminded the you, father of psychology, but he's a shitty father, and, and everybody ref- else is like, we should be better parents to psychology. And he refused to mention him without at least at one point calling him a bastard. He would not, yeah. like, mention Sigmund Freud without he's a bastard being followed by it. It was great. The, the thing about Sigmund Freud, though, is he said a lot of bullshit, and that led to people sort of going... Well, fuck everything the guy said then, and then it's like, okay, he said some stuff that was right. We can't ignore the stuff he said that was right. Just well, yeah, I mean, oh, he had a good, he had a lot of good ideas, but they were flawed because of a lot of other shit about him. <laughs> I love how we're playing a Sonic game, talking about <laughs> philosophy and Sigmund Freud. Oh like, man, I feel like every. Game. Well, I mean, I feel like every single conversation we've had has been, like, something not appropriate for a Sonic... Sonic 2 is the most appropriate so far. Um, um, well, I mean, no, I mean uh, to be fair no, here, it's... You, oh, sorry. It's just, the thing that's funny is that it's, it's about, like, an actual person, though. Like, they're, like, this is an actual credible conversation that, you know, probably should be listened to by somebody. <laughs> like, if it wasn't a Sonic <laughs> Let's Play, somebody would probably actually enjoy this. <laughs> the thing is, like, people, um... Uh, somebody said it better than me before, but I read somewhere that, like, Sigmund Freud didn't actually understand a lot about the human race. He more so understood about the people he socialized with, which was white males, like, upper-class white males. And so, like, he he understood the shit out of that demographic, but as far as, like, the rest of humanity, not so much. Um, but he so, did have, like, a lot of good baseline ideas not, like, not wanting to challenge racist here but how, how do you understand white people that's a good question <laughs> no it's like <laughs> like the way he was socialized like i can't i can't explain it properly but like uh it it, it definitely like goes along with like a lot of the stuff about it like for example like um uh, this is gonna sound really shitty of me, but, like, I'm a white person, so I guess, you know, but it, this isn't Look, the thing about, I, I just, like, <laughs> this, is, this is a shitty thing about white people. I don't understand white people. I don't think you get worse than that. <laughs> this is a shitty thing about white people, so I'm gonna sound shitty, I guess, for saying it. But, like, um, uh, <sighs> it, it, it's, like, the thing with, like, you know, all men 
want to marry their mothers or something. But, yeah. like, people were talking about it, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of straight white males who, like, say what they're looking for in a woman is actually they're just looking for a mom and a therapist. Like, they're not <laughs> looking for a relationship. Um, and, like, again, I don't want to generalize, but, like, yeah, that's pretty damn accurate. Like, with the... I don't think that's just the, a white thing, though. No, 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 no. I, I definitely don't want to generalize, but, like, it, it's definitely more likely for, like, the way he brought up, especially with, like, privilege... I, I would say privilege, more so. Not just that, but I would just say, like, generally, like, privileged men who have been kind of, like, coddled as they were brought up, like, do not want to grow up and be people. <laughs> And yeah. with, like, a lot of upper-class men, like, that's sort of how he was socialized, so. <clears throat> yo, white people are strange, yo. That was, that was <laughs> the, that was the mindset specifically that he criticized of Sigmund Freud. Yeah. Uh, was that everyone wants to <laughs> mate with their parents or their mother. Isn't yeah. that like the electric complex <laughs> and all that shit? <laughs> Weird shit. Weird shit. Maybe like he, I, he shares a lot in common with. A lot. He shares he shares a lot in common with uh, Homelander, Chris. <laughs> in in my own opinion, I think Sigmund Freud did a lot of self projection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What if you know, what if, what if, what if message that we're doing a Sonic podcast or whatever? I did absolutely not expect to talk about Sigmund Freud in any way. We weren't expecting to get deep into psychology, sociology, privilege, all that shit. When we played Adventure 1, we talked about death for how long? Like, are you really that surprised? (laughs) A little bit, yeah. Like, death is death, but like... We talked about (laughs) death, we talked about so much shit. Uh... And I'm fine like, with I'm it. Serious, I'm, not, though, like, I'm not complaining. I'm, I I enjoy no, doing no, this with you guys. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I also just, didn't expect to I'm not surprised at all. Anyway, Sigmund Freud is a crackhead slut, and it's some of the most hilarious stuff I've ever read. <laughs> Sigmund Freud is You do not understand how much I appreciate father. you for saying that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm back to the fucking way of What does this say? I should pay attention. But press start to select the status view at the status screen. It does fuck the police back. coming straight from the underground. Okay. Uh. What do I do with this? I mean, I can pull on it. My favorite philosopher is Chris Cham. <clears throat> no, see that? He's a god. <laughs> In, in, well, you, in, there's no comparison. <laughs> in, in their in their eyes, yes, that is absolutely the case. Going back uh, to Christian, yeah, Christian believes that she is a goddess. Yeah, I mean, she definitely does because she believes that Quickfell is gonna merge in with our reality. See, see, you know, here's the thing that's actually great is that this is this is gonna sound stupid, and I know that I'll drop Christian after this, but I have this weird belief that. Chris Chan is Sonichu because Chris Chan can't handle his past. I think uh, Chris Chan is... I, I don't know, like, it could be... It With Chris Chan, it really could just be, like, a state of, like... She has fucked up her own life so badly that it could just be a coping well, method. See, well, you see, the reason why I say that is because, like, with the... Due to the fact that he's aware of the, uh, Gino Samuel... Uh, whatever. Yeah. He can't hide anymore anything he's well, done. So it's easier for Sonichu to, you know, be there. I don't, I don't know. perfect. I don't know, though, because I feel like the, the only people who... My sister's watching something fucking loud in the other room. Can you hear that? Um, nope. no. No, I'm just gonna ask her to turn it down a little bit, because, like, okay. holy shit. So, like, her TV is, like... Our rooms are, like, right next to each other, and, like, her TV oh, is, is, like, oh, right on my wall so like i can hear everything at like tenfold that she plays on her television oh, anyway. give me a second. i gotta go i gotta go change rooms my kids gotta go to sleep <laughs> okay
I am so fucking sorry. No, you're good, man, of course. I don't think he was talking to us. I think I just made an ass of myself. Uh, yes, you sure did, Uh. Okay, so I got up here. Um. Oh, do I need to, like, Holy slam shit. on this? Are those the diapers? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you want to open it and see what it is? What's the... Maybe I can check attacks. Skills. Uh... Donkey kick? What? Warhammer. Okay. Are we gonna wrap it? We don't, what the fuck is all of this stuff? All right, so th Amazon's been slacking, homie. Yeah, ever since they got rid of me, they've been fucked. <laughs> Dude, Amazon's been sending stuff, like, at night lately. Uh-huh. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... It's check weird. It. They just check it out before it's, like, late at night. It's, like, the most ghetto thing you could be doing out here. Donkey kick combo? Is that what I need? Oh, by the way, Olivia appeared. I had to change rooms. <laughs> so, she's she's here. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Max. Anyway. Ah, there we go. Following the rules does help. Alright. No, it doesn't. Fuck the rules. Fuck the rules. Uh, I don't know, Michael, where are we at in Sonic? Uh, poorly. Uh, you can press the LT button to push box faster. Okay. You sure can. All right, this is a little faster. Is it gonna break? Is this bridge gonna break? It didn't break. I'm grateful. At least I think it didn't break. Okay, it didn't break. <clears throat> We did it. Fuck you, rats. Alright. I have another bottle of sparkling ice. Nice. At what flavor is this sparkling ice? This one is black raspberry. It's a good sparkling ice flavor. Is it ice? Like, is it like that? Is that the brand? Ice. Yeah. I like those. Those are good. Alright. Uh, like, oh it's, like, um, it's like a flavored water thing. I don't know. It's like a LaCroix, but like not LaCroix because it actually tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to go for a little longer, Chris. I want to at least get one more. Okay. You need okay, to get going. I will see if I can... I, I'm gonna hang on for a minute, but I do have to get some gameplay footage for some shit, so... Gotcha. Well, you could... I mean, do, do you need there to be commentary over the footage? No, no. It's gonna be quiet. It's just I... I have to... Around, I have to arrange my whole house to get it, because my computer's... Got it. Piece of shit, so. uh, if you if you want to like get footage while still chatting with us, uh, feel you know feel free to stick around, but only if you're able able to. Yeah, it's like I said, it'll be a whole ordeal. So I, I don't know how much. Olivia, have you ever found love? Have you ever been in love? <laughs> I love how she respond. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? She didn't. She just looked at me weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> it's better that you're in the dark. How do I? I did it. I don't feel bad for taking a long time to answer. <laughs> I mean, the context is literally that I was. It's from a Bill Wirtz video. That's it. Did I do it? Yeah. 
All right. There we go, I did it. I survived. There's a lot I want to move these guys into. Here. Fuck you, robot. Well, what did the robot ever do to you, Michael? Hacked me and then he plays stupid warehog stage. It did, did he actually attack you, or did or did you think he was going to attack you? He did attack me. I have it on you camera. Sure? I have it on <laughs> camera. Are you using <laughs> AI artificial intelligence? Uh, fucking nope. And I've seen a lot of it, but I never watched the whole thing. The fucking Jude Law sex robot. I'd fuck that robot. Would you fuck that robot? <laughs> I would. All right. All Guys, right what now. fictional robot would you be most likely to fuck? Uh, the Jude Law sex robot from <clears throat> uh, AI artificial intelligence. Hmm. I have to think about that. I'm trying to think if I've ever been especially attracted to a robot. Uh. I'm sorry. What, Olivia? There's too many robots that you probably would fuck, Olivia, alright? Like... Thing is, like, I'm, I would say Metaton X, but, like, he's specifically designed to be sexy. Yeah, that's well, why... And Jude Law's sex robot is not? <laughs> like, why, 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 why are them being designed to be sexy? A, a Listen, I'm not saying that, like... I'm saying that it's a tie. I'm saying it's a tie between Metaton X and uh, Nick Valentine. I cannot think of an answer at the moment. I can't think of one either. The, so here's the question. But I feel like I could give an answer. Here's the question: Is does it have to be a sentient robot? I mean, I guess not. But like, I, I guess I that's just my personal preference. But rock on with your bad self. Look, hold on, all right. Like. Gundam Thunderbolt kind of gives that. I kind of gives you that answer. <laughs> you know because, what? Like, I'm yelling at Olivia. I mean, like, if I had to give an answer, I would probably say like a Gundam. Because mm. I sign. No, you're not wrong. Like I'm thinking about it. Like you're not wrong. Well, like I mean, have you have you ever watched the show Gundam Thunderbolt? I have not, but I, I'm picturing, like, some, like, Gundam kind of, like, I know, like, the vibe of it, and I'm like, well, see, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. See, they describe of being in the cockpit of a powerful Gundam as a sensual experience. Mm. So, also, okay, look, also there's the, uh, the, what was it, the Sweden Gundam from, uh, Gundam Ribbon from, uh, G Gundam, that's like literally just a female Gundam. <laughs> so like, oh, uh, what's his name from No Gun Life? Juzo, Juzo can get it. All right, now I gotta, I gotta look this up. How do you spell that? <sighs> Olivia, how do you spell that? Okay, I want to make sure. He is a well, beautiful goof rat, and I love well, him. What was it from? No Gun Life. Okay. Is he a robot? Oh my god, yes. I see, I, I know exactly <laughs> what you're- Yes! <laughs> yes! I- I don't know if you were asking this question, like, seriously, but that, oh, that is my it. serious answer. Oh, there's a picture of him blushing! Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, I heard about this. I, I want to watch this, actually. I've been reading it. I love it. I mean, did it conclude the, uh, recently? Oh, uh, well. 
There's the absurdly 90s robot from Jason X. Yeah. Who, like some weird nerd designed to just be a, like a chick in like a leather outfit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uncomfortably horny for the robot he has created. <laughs> what like sort of thing it would make a robot you can't fuck? You leave Robocop out of this, okay? You leave Murphy out of this. <laughs> God. Nah, not Murphy. Olympia's making fun of me because I love Robocop, like one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, it's one of my favorite movies too. I, I love Robocop. Just sending a picture in general to show that Chris is not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been thinking this whole time. I want to have an answer. I just don't. Can't think That's of it. <laughs> They just draw him too well. <laughs> and his character's <laughs> too good. He's just too good! <laughs> I, I, this is, this is an unreasonably attractive Gundam. <laughs> like, why, why would you... Who does this? <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna draw, like, a, a robot for Gundam, but I'm gonna make him super hot. Ugh, god damn it. <laughs> Those hips, though. Damn. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but that's a Sentai, but yeah. No, he's a robot that, like... Like, it's, it's fucked up because he'll understand the concept of love and then straight up dies. <laughs> so, in. So, you, do you guys know what Super Sentai is? No. Kinda. Okay. So, for people that don't know, Super Sentai is the. Um. The thing that created Power Rangers, right? Yeah. Right. And. Uh, one of my favorite seasons is called Jetman. It has the dumbest costumes, but there's a robot named Gray that falls in love with a human, and he's like this badass villain, you know, robot, that <clears throat> we see a character arc happen, and when he finally admits his love for the main, like, the, like, one of the female characters, he straight up just gets, like, murdered. <laughs> Also, Jetman has the saddest ending of any Super Sentai, because one of the main characters is off to see his best friend's wedding, and he stops a guy from robbing a chick and gets stabbed, makes it to his wedding, gives him his blessing, and then dies on a bench. Like, it's, that's how the whole series fucking ends. And America was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's make that one the first season of Power Rangers, and then somebody's like, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do this. <clears throat> I would have loved to see how America would have handled that if they were gonna like do it word for word. I'll be right back. There's uh uh the the main character of Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, but Ghost in the Shell feed. Uh, are you talking about robots that you fuck? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Like the animated one, or Scarlett Johansson, or... Scarlett Johansson. Like, like, I was gonna specify, but then I'm like, nah. I, I, I guess I'd go with, uh... I guess I'd go with that. Too. So we're talking about the major, right? Because <clears throat> there's like... Because like, I can give the answer to the major Roboto. Either way... Isn't, isn't she technically a cyborg, though, too? 
It depends on what you. It really depends on which cannon we're talking about here. Yeah, 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 but I don't know. I've only seen the anime. Say what? I've, I've only seen, like, the original anime, so I don't know. So, like, the movie or, like, the show, the standalone pop complex? Because there's, like, three movies and, like, two shows. Like, the, the original movie from 1995. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, the movie, yeah. See, like, Ghost of the Shell's a weird, weird in-between, because they're robots, but there's, like, some shit behind it, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, what? I, I want to finish this. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of, like, a cyborg, and it's like, oh, we were only able to save some of you, and it's like, their head and their tits. And that's it. That's all that was <laughs> saved. There's, there's too many robots that are smashable, though. Yeah. No, you're right. There's the sex robot Todd built in the uh, Bojack Horseman. Oh yeah, Henry <laughs> Fon Henry Fondler. <laughs> Henry Fondler. Yeah. It's a good one. Probably the ideal robot. Uh Do the robots from Blade Runner count? Sure oh, why not? Yeah. I don't see why not. No, they're not really robots, are they? They're like clones, right? Kind, kind of, yeah. The reprints. Like, what would you describe Blade Runner as? Oh, wait, where are we going with that? Um, like robot clones. God damn it. Uh, yeah, no, I would consider it kind of be like a mix of like robot and clones. Are, like, do they have? I mean, do they have? They're... Do they have organs in that? I forget if they have organs. If they're meat, they're just clones. If they're clones, but they're metal and mechanical, then they're robots. They're robot clones. It's just, it's just hard, because like Blade Runner kind of doesn't explain it. Because like supplementary material says otherwise sometimes. I mean, you could argue that like the synths in Fallout or at least in like Fallout 4, when they're like super advanced, you could argue that they're uh, clones. Oh, robots that had Smash also B2 from uh, Nier Automata. Mm hmm. There's the robot chicks from Ex Machina. Yeah? Like several of them. Who are all like deliberately designed to be hot? By uh, fucking Oscar Isaac as Elon <sighs> Musk. Can we talk about how many movie villains are based on Elon Musk and then people are still like, what a cool dude? And it's like, <laughs> have you. Let me show you some movies, my friend. Where Elon Musk is just blatantly the bad guy. Homie, Elon Musk is working on a Halo truck, so he can't be a bad guy. <laughs> Him and his PlayStation 1 truck. Wasn't there something about Elon Musk genetically modifying, like, cat girls? Genetically engineering cat girls into existence? Um, I'm assuming that there was, if, I'm assuming that there was, it was just some sort of meme. Yeah. Oh, I'm really struggling. You I'm say really, that I don't now. I know what I'm doing. What were you saying, Chris? You say that now, Michael, but one day there will be cat girls. Alright. One day there will be cat girls. <sighs> oh, jeez. This is... I, I want to be done with this level so I don't have to start it over, but this is... This has now officially gotten tiring. <laughs> are you... Where are you in Sonic Unleashed? I'm on the second Werehog stage, and it's just... Unpleasant. Where in the world is that? I don't know, it's like some weird temple place. The Chinese uh, stage, or is it, um, uh, Africa? I think it's, it's Africa. Michael, what's so your middle sorry. name? Scott. 
<laughs> Scott? Yeah. God damn it, that doesn't work. Michael Scott from The Office, uh huh. <laughs> from The Office. No, I was gonna do. I was. I was gonna do a "Where in the world is Carmen San Diego?" with you, but your your like syllables don't work. Where in the world is Michael Scott Bemis? Like that's what about work. "Where in the Michael world James is Cole. Mac?" I was gonna say Mackle should uh, <laughs> That also doesn't work. Just just break it all down. It's J oh. Mackle Mackle James Shadackle. It's his full name. Oh, there we so, go. So Where fun. in the world is Michael James Shadackle? That works. That works. How the fuck do I get up here? How the fuck do you get up there? How I don't the fuck? know. I've been trying for such a fucking long time now. Uh, try jumping. Oh, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for real? No, I did. I just um, no. <laughs> Nothing happened. Ah. <laughs> oh. Maybe I need to use that to jump back Jordan. over there with like, the swing. I didn't think that was gonna work, but that might be exactly what I need to do right here. Whoa! That did nothing at all. That did absolutely fucking nothing. Holy shit! How do I get out of here? You don't. You just die. I created a man just to imprison him in a box of nothing. Just like God. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. I was legitimately about to say that. <laughs> I just didn't know if I wanted. I just didn't know if I wanted to go there or not. No. Did you know? There we go. That, that we could actually be doing space travel right now, but instead we're not. Oh man, why aren't we doing space travel? That seems uh, that seems sucky. I don't know, but we we had a project that was I think was it Project Athena, Olivia? Project Artemis, where they were going to try to colonize the moon. What? What was it called? What was the name of the project? Artemis. So they just made Artemis Fowl instead after that didn't go out so well? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> with, with Josh Gad and his giant gaping maw. <laughs> I'm calling for the police. I feel harassed. Uh, where the fuck? Is my phone okay? I don't know what the fuck to do. Is there any sort of like information on this section? I'm stuck here. There's nothing's happening. I can't figure out how to get out of it. This looks so weird with both eye noodles. Huh? What if I could use? Maybe I could use this for something. Is there something I can press it against? I don't see anything. Alright, I need to look up a walkthrough again. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just stuck. Michael, do you want me to record gameplay footage? Just send it to you? Just, like, edit all the parts when you say you're stuck? <laughs> Out. <laughs> oh. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I was being stupid. That was actually that. That, Aren't actually, we all? that is something that I should have been able to figure out on my own. I think. I think. Yeah, that was that was like a pretty obvious. Like, that was like a pretty basic puzzle, actually. That was that's I I feel dumb. And there's so many old people living in this town. It's like goddamn Florida. Because they all age, and then you only have old characters, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, sometimes I set it to be like, don't, and nobody age unless I give them permission. But sometimes hmm. it doesn't follow that rule. I like to watch my sins slowly die of old age. <laughs> Every day we stray further from God. 
God fucking Every day it. my sims stray further from me. <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> there we go. Finally did it. God damn it, I fucking hate this. There we go, I finally did it. Absolute fuck, I hate everything. This is such a stupid... It's like if I so there's this one sim I have on this lot who I'm gonna give a perfectly fuck nice you. life to, and like, he's gonna have everything he needs. Like, I previously created two brothers, and I will treat one as a normal sim, and I will give him a good, nice, happy life. And then there will be another sim who I will keep in a box until he has completely depleted, like, all of his, like, needs, like, bladder, hunger, yeah, energy, bad. fun, social hygiene, until all of those are in the red, he's not allowed outside of the box. Bro, that sounds like <laughs> depression, though. <laughs> yeah, That just sounds you know like what? depression. <laughs> that is depression. <laughs> You just literally described depression, but with Sims. <laughs> but with Sims, yeah. Uh, no, but he's in a box of nothing. Uh, he is in, he's quarantined. The face of and... depression. Yeah. Isn't that a Lovecraft story? <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it, Olivia? Nope, oh, time for more enemies to fight. I'm not mean enough to my sims. I have oh, I have two sims that I'm going to be mean to. It's this one, and then there's another one uh, who I just named Angryman, who is, whose goal is to like fight everybody and make enemies with literally everyone. He also has a movie channel where he reviews movies negatively. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, these fucking robots are still here. But like, I have zero health, and it's not fair in the slightest, and it's gonna make me do that long and tedious process again, where I have to drag shit while I'm getting shot at. And I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god, I hate this game so fucking much. Those are gonna probably be my last words. I... I genuinely have so much hatred for everything this game is. <laughs> I, I just think that this is like the worst thing I've ever played in my life. Oh my god. <clears throat> like, like, after this quarantine is over, you have to fly out here and we gotta play some absolute garbage video games. <laughs> Alright, I'm down. God fucking damn it. Cause, cause I think Olivia can, can agree, I own some absolute ass of, of video games. <laughs> video games. You own some absolute ass. <laughs> the, uh, video on games. your back. <laughs> now, see, if you take that out of context, it makes it sound like I'm trying to flirt with Michael. <laughs> Are you not? Michael, you should come over here. I have absolute ass. <laughs> Complete ass. Not a half ass. <laughs> we don't half ass anything in this household. <laughs> God damn it. Ass was the answer, though, back when I was trying to beat that first boss. That's that's what this playthrough should be called. Sonic Ass Ventures. <laughs> but, oh, but it's not Ventures anymore, is it? It's it's Sonic Unleashed. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sonic Unleashed Ass. <laughs> did, did Matt just die? <laughs> I ask that question every day, Michael. Matt has passed away. <laughs> See, you can't you can't win because it's either Sonic Unleashed Ass or Sonic Ass Unleashed. I mean, I would agree <laughs> to the fact that both of those are really crappy names, but Sonic on Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic on Ass.
Michael, I know the pun wasn't intentional, but it was perfect. I made a pun. You said, uh, I was talking about ass, and you said it was a crappy, uh... Oh, title. okay. Gotcha. Yeah, Max, that works. Uh, fuck off, fuck off, I did not want to die here again. What do you mean, the pen? Oh, no, it's just how the pen is. No, we, we got to do good, we good. No, oh, god damn it. God fucking damn it. This is so fucking annoying. This is not enjoyable, the shit it keeps making me do again and again and again. This is not enjoyable. This is a fucking nightmare. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm sorry. Do you need a hug? No. You want a cookie? I'll take that as yes. Homie, we should play Sonic. Not Sonic, Shadow the Hedgehog after this. <laughs> I don't think that one's available on the Xbox. I'm almost dead again. Shit. I did I just fucking died. I have one life left. God fucking damn it. You know, sign a petition to get Shadow the Hedgehog on the Xbox. <laughs> That's exactly what we gotta do. Shadow the Hedgehog, Edge Edition. <laughs> the Edge Box. <laughs> what the fuck? Whose house is on fire? Who burnt the fish sticks? Ignore that. <laughs> Do you have power back? Nope. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Your house is on okay. fire, Matt. I got candles going, that might be part of it. Like a lot of candles going. Oh, that makes <clears> sense. <throat> yeah, because your house Are is... they all scented candles? They are all scented candles. Your house is gonna smell like a combination of things. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I'm sending Conrad. Oh, way! That's from the Cat in the Hat movie. It's a good movie. Hey, Mike. You ever thought about being an esports commentator? Absolutely. <laughs> let's 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 do some let's do some practice right now. I think all of us should be esports commentators. I think that's the um, that's the career for us. Esports. E e e. e. It's in my ass. <laughs> like yeah, they someone like sees me play this game and they're just like, oh holy shit, how can we not get this guy to like commentate everything we do from here on out? Literally anything else would be a fucking joke. All right, we're gonna try this fight again. I don't know if this is like the final fight of the level or what, but uh, no, you got an Eggman boss battle in uh when you play as regular Sonic. Okay, well that's fine when I'm playing as regular. Um, I've played as regular Sonic for, again, out of the 2 hours and 44 minutes we've been recording now, I've played as a regular Sonic for 10 minutes. That's kind of how it is with this game. <laughs> oh, I'm almost dead again, too. I'm almost dead. I'm, I'm on my final breath. And there's no way for me to heal myself. Like, there's nothing I'm sparing. Have you, and thrown them. Have you picked up enemies and thrown them? Uh, can I pick up these big ones? Absolutely not. Nope, okay, never mind. I didn't know you were at the big ones. I mean, they're, like, fairly big, you know, like... They're you not can as pick big up the medium the... ones, but I think you have to, like, level up or some shit to do that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm trying really... F okay, I just got a game over. I mean, you can suplex the bigger ones, but like I said, you have to level up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I think I'm done for today, because it wants me to do all that over again now. I can't I, have that. I... I fucking hate this. 
so goddamn much. <laughs> you brought but, this upon yourself. By now, I was done with the entire fucking Sonic campaign when we did Adventure. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Are we I done? Think, yeah, I think we're done. Can I go I'll home end, now? Can you get me out uh, of the cage? I'll, I'll, I'll end it with one more bean. Hopefully, we get something good this time. We've been holding Chris hostage. No. 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 It's my son's birthday. I'd like to see him. Eh. <laughs> this. This is shit. That's the end. <laughs>